That's right, guys, the all-star event is here. Let's talk a little bit about how it works. So first thing is first, two attributes for this player will be boosted to 99 overall for each individual skills competition winner. So let's say, for example, Alex Ovechkin wins the hardest shot. Something like Slapshot Accuracy and Slapshot Power might be increased to 99 overall. In addition to that, any player that scores a goal in the All-Star game is going to have plus one overall added for every single goal that they score. The goalies that win the All-Star game, so two of the starting and potentially backup goalie, both of them should be in the game, but both of those goalies will have plus four added to their overall as well. Also, this one's very important. The All-Star Game MVP will boost to a 95 overall, so choose wisely when you're making these choice sets. And then lastly, all players from the winning team will also have an additional synergy slot added to their card, which is also a pretty big advantage. Here's a quick look at some of the master items, which we're about to dive into more detail on. We'll have a ranking video out tomorrow on them. And also tomorrow, we're gonna go over all these different players as far as who you should choose, and we're gonna rank these. So that's how these all-star cards will work. Let's take a look at the sets. So taking a look at the sets, let's first look at the master set item. So it's gonna work exactly the same way as it has previously. You can trade in five collectibles for a choice pack of one of these players. So you're going to get, it looks like I would assume a choice pack between two separate players and you pick one. That's how it's been in the past. And then if you do want a specific player and you wanted to guarantee that you got that player, you can then trade in seven collectibles on the time counter down sets here and get that specific master set player. As far as the other all-star cards go that are actually playing in the all-star game, it's going to cost you 25 collectibles to get a choice pack of one of three of those players from their respective division. So here you have it, and that's gonna cost you 25 collectibles. All the sets here are exactly identical to what we've seen recently, except for a few new ones. The first one of which is going to be a seven collectible set which now requires an 89 overall player. If we go to the auction house, we can take a look and see here what those are going for. Earlier, they were going for about 40,000. You can see some, and right now, yeah, just, just north of that. So this is actually probably one of the sets I would target right here is actually not a bad buy. It's probably gonna go away here pretty soon for a 90 overall for 44K. Obviously, EA is slowly increasing the overall requirement for these sets and you're getting more bang for your buck. So if you do have some 89 overalls, this might be a good chance for you to turn them in. However, if you're looking to not maybe get one of these master set items and just get coins, now would be the time to sell your 89 overall players. Now that we got the sets out of the way, let's take a look at the players. Here are your master set players. Let's dive into those first. Starting off, we have the 5'11", 190 pound right-handed defenseman, Dan Boyle. Nice to see that he gets a card here. He does have workhorse or wingman, which is going to boost Excel, as well as distributor and fly the zone. So although he's only 5'11 for a defenseman, Speed is going to be a 96, acceleration could get up to a 93, and body checking at a 97. So I do like this card. If you already have the Adam Fox Team of the Year card, I probably would steer clear of Dan Boyle. However, we will have a ranking video out tomorrow on all these, but this is a first look at our 95 overall master set players in NHL 22. Moving on, we have the 5'9", 174 pound Daniel Briere, baby. It's nice to see Danny Briere. In the game, 5'9", 174, he's a bit small, but boy, is he quick. 97 speed, 96 acceleration if you activate all of these speed synergies on him. In addition to that, they gave him gold wheels, which is probably OP, in addition to elite edges. I don't even think you probably need to activate gold wheels on him, being that he's so fast. The one concern I would probably have with his card is that he could probably get taken off the puck fairly easily, but being that his agility is through the roof as well as his hands, I feel like he could be a pretty good card for the right player. Up next is the six foot, 190 pound right winger, Milan Hedjuk. It's nice to see him in the game. He does have shutdown, tape to tape, elite edges, and make it snappy. Third eye zone ability. I really don't love any of these except for potentially elite edges. I don't feel that it's necessary to have shutdown on a forward, but it can't hurt for only one ability point. I do like his size. It's six foot 190, but there's just so many other right handed wingers that are already just about as good as this card. Again, I'll have a ranking video out tomorrow, but. If you're a fan of him, obviously pick him up for your team. He's certainly not going to hurt you. However, he probably wouldn't be my first choice. Up next, six foot two, 210 pound Uli Jokinen. He also does have a speed synergy and 
This is probably my favorite card right now for a few different reasons. He, you can obviously play him at center, and his zone and superstar abilities are unbelievable. He does have quick draw. Now, you probably don't need that, being that his faceoffs are already in 99. However, it is there if you need it. He also has Born Leader. Now, I'm a huge fan of Silver Born Leader for a multitude of reasons, but I've had games where I've literally only had my first and second line out there because I've scored with Zetterberg or I've scored with Eichel, right? And I've just continued to stay out there the entire game. So if you do have that activated and you score with this player, Born Leader, especially for only one ability point, is one of the most OP zone or superstar abilities, in my opinion. Furthermore, he has close quarters as well as Total Eclipse, which is fantastic for a center standing in front of the net. If that's your game to take some of those point shots or get some of those deflections, in my opinion, Total Eclipse could be fantastic. 93 acceleration, 94 speed. He's a bit slower than the rest. However, if you throw a booming shot on him, his agility can get up to 96, which is very high, and I feel like he'd be very difficult to take off the puck with his balance, strength, and agility all through the roof. Next up, we have my boy Pecorine, 6'5", 217. Probably one of the better goalies in the game. He does have silver post-to-post, -post, not gold post-to-post, -post, and he also does have light work. I just haven't found that light work follows through on the promise that it makes as much, at least from my opinion, from whenever I've activated it on goaltenders or played people that had light work activated. I just haven't noticed much of a difference. However, silver post-to-post -post could be advantageous, and at 6'5", 217, he's one of the larger goalies, and... On the surface, this card looks to be incredible. And lastly, we have Gary Suter, six foot, 205 pound. Here's our left-handed defenseman. If you activate all of his speed synergies, he is cracked. 96 acceleration, 93 speed, also has 1T and truculence, as well as seeing eye and send it. And then lastly, tape to tape for his zone ability. I think truculence and maybe even 1T could be great on this card. Even just truculence alone would be fantastic. He's at six foot 205, so I feel like he would be big enough. Obviously, he's not going to feel like a Burns, a Headman, or even a Shea Weber back there. However, he'd probably play more like a Paul Coffey. I do like the fact that he has truculence, and his body checking is already through the roof there at 99 overall. And defensively, this card is a lockdown. He's very quick. He'd probably be one of my top choices for a defenseman. I will have a video out tomorrow ranking all of these master players as well as going through each and every single one of these cards. For the sake of the video, however, you can see that they're all 89 overalls. That's where they're going to start at. And well, there's quite a few of them, so you really can't go wrong. Make sure you pick your favorite players. It's always fun to watch the All-Star game when you actually own one of these cards versus just watching it in general. It's a bit boring. So anywho, I hope this video helps clarify it for you guys. Let me know who you're going after in the comments below and keep your eyes peeled out tomorrow for the ranking video as well as the deep dive into each and every one of these players. That's it for me on this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you go ahead and click like. And if you'd like to follow along for more hut tips, make sure you go ahead and click subscribe. Again, I'm Main Advantage, and I will see you guys next time.